It is important to boost your research impact nowadays, so you have to create a unique research identifier in ORCID as a means for you to boost your research impact. It identifies you or it gives you an ID. I know some people think it's digitizing humans and not uh, making them human, but it is one way for you to, uh, to remove the ambiguity uh, due to the variations in the spellings, especially in the Arab countries, because we use Al-Hajj, al uh, space or with a dash, or when women get married, they, ha they happen to uh, put their family name and their husband's name together. Another way is to be consistent in writing your name. So remember, uh, for example, Nabulsi, write it always with an I, if you write it with an I, not sometimes with a Y, sometimes with an I. Publish in journals that have at least one of these, an impact factor. Open access is an open access because it gives you a more, uh, or it keeps you more prone or uh, uh, probability for you to, to look up, you're prone to be seen better. There are some uh, journals that have discounts at AUB if you're F AUB affiliated, but be aware of the predatory journals. Predatory journals are the journals that are fake journals. They're super, um, you know, they are super foxy. They might tell you that we have this editor in chief uh, in our editorial board, or this editor in our editorial board who is or she who is uh, very well known in their specialty, but in fact the editor is not. They might tell you we have an impact factor when, when in fact it does not have an impact factor. And they might uh, take your money away and publish your paper when, and it's so hard for you to retrieve it back. We had, a pre we had an attendant once lose his patent for predatory journals because he didn't consult with the librarian to check whether this journal was fair enough or good enough for it to be uh, uh, published in. Open access journals, however, you have to pay a fee for your uh, article to be present for uh, for the people to, to see. Uh, but again, it would give you more probability for you to be seen and hence more probability for you to be cited. It's for free, however, for the public. They don't have to pay for the fees of the subscription for the database for it to be present. It is freely accessible for the public. Uh, indexed in many in any international databases uh, you can know that by checking Jane for example a PubMed uh, we have to check Scopus and Web of Science to, to see if all your citations have the correct author and affiliation address and if there are any are any mistakes just inform us to help you correct them Create a Google Scholar and preferably also create a professional web page to, that's to be kept updated. Join academic social networks such as academia.edu, LinkedIn, ResearchGate, Mendeley, PubLons by uh, Web of Science. Uh, participate in professional listservs. Retain your right place, a copy uh, at the AUB institutional repository and create your own website. Such uh, some resources are like uh, WordPress. It's free again. Remember, keeping your keeping in mind these strategies will uh, save you time in terms of uh, fixing what's the, the, if the article is yours or not yours. Uh, it would give you more quality to your research so, and quantity as well, and this will help you in your promotional basis and in your reputation and building up your name as you go in your career.